So when we look at, at, at things like the budget and look for clues that government's getting behind small business, what is the best way for them? And, and, and your point is well taken that, that the umbrella term small business is, is not a useful one given the, the huge range of needs that different size enterprises have. Nevertheless, if government is to put money into something, what, what should they be putting money into? So, John, what, what I'm about to say is probably going to be uh, a little insensitive, but for, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be pragmatic in the sense that there is a limited budget available to address a perception that small business is going to solve a lot of the problems in terms of employment. Right. And to me, a lot of that, the, the money spent by government is going to what we commonly term as the one-man bands, the one-person bands, the, the pure startup, somebody who's starting a business from scratch. Yes. If I were in that position, I would, I would be moving slightly further along the value chain to the 10-man band. And the reason I do that is because the 10-man band has got a number of fail-safes in there that will, if I were an investor, I would feel more comfortable to put my money in there than in a one-man band because there's, they've been around a little longer, so they've proved that there is a market, there's, there is more uh, capability, there is more um, internal infrastructure process, et cetera, in that business. So if I, I, I wouldn't completely leave out the one-man band, but right. I would emphasize on the 10-man band. If you double a 10-man band business, you to 20, you having 100% growth, but you're getting 10 new people uh, employed. If you double a one-man band, you're going to get one more person right, employed. Right. And the 10-man band in m- many of the research papers across the world show a much quicker growth trajectory than the one-man band from f- in terms of specific numbers, i.e. not percentages, but actual numbers. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.